Yeah, him and Cat Williams. Dude, I think Cat Williams is hilarious. You know what's crazy? They're both Virgos. Coincidence? Cat Williams and Dave Chappelle are both Virgos. Perfectionists. You know? They're, they're good at their craft. Someone said Cat Williams is a psychopath. I don't know. He's hilarious, though. I missed your super chat. My bad. Okay, let me open up super chats. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Okay, I got that one. Toasty. Yo, AD, my sign, Sag, and Moon's Leo. What you got? All right. I could, I could do this. So you're Sag with a moon and Leo. Wow. All right. First of all, you Sages are some powerful people. Okay? You're the bow and arrow. So you aim and fire for what you want. We're going to talk about your sun sign first. So you a Sagittarius. So you're the, you're the bow and arrow. That arrow is the nail on the cross, by the way. When they talk about the nail on the cross, that's the arrow. It's just the way in the, in the stars where the sun ends up going through and falling. But it's the nail on the cross. Anyway, yeah, so Sag is you aim and fire for what you want. You're very specific, very optimistic people. So you're an optimistic person. Um, and you guys are natural entrepreneurs, Jay-Z. So uh, if you have, Toasty, if you haven't started your business yet, you might as well get started now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you guys build businesses. You're constantly moving. You're constantly looking for ways to make money. You're always doing some side projects, t-shirt lines, building this, managing this, build, 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 build. So um, most sages who are conscious will become very successful and very uh, money-oriented bosses, managers, owners of things, owners of companies, um, side hustles, hustling. good example of a Sagittarius would be uh, uh, Andrew Tate. Whether you love him or not, the guy's a hustler. Uh, so he's a Sagittarius. And then you got your moon in Leo. My moon's in Leo. Congratulations, man. This is one of the best places to have your moon. So the moon is your emotions. So when you have your emotions in a confident sign of Leo, you've got a strong core. You know what I mean? You're a lion on the inside. You know what I mean? And uh, it, it can give you that balance on the inside to like, hmm, to like be able to be courageous enough to take certain steps emotionally. Do you know what I mean? Um, it also gives you like the ability to grab the microphone confidently. You got that moon in Leo. So like you love to be on the mic, you know, you, you, you might do some podcast stuff like this, you know, um, you don't mind being on the mic. You don't mind being the center of attention. Uh, stage fright isn't too, I mean, that's going to happen naturally, but like at the end of the day, you can get over stage fright pretty well. Um, so yeah, if you're not a rapper or an artist of some sort, toasty, um, you, you can be. You can be an artist. Like I see you being an artist who has his own label, who has his own things. It's just so that you got that entrepreneur Sagittarius with that confident moon in Leo. So I can go on and on and on, but that's just a, a taste of that.